Yo, what is up people? It is your boy Sneels right here and I hope you guys are having a good day today. Now apologies uh, for not really much videos up um, lately. I just want to obviously get that out of the way and tell you guys about that. Um, obviously I've been busy quite a lot lately. Um, I'm not going to lie, I have. Uh, but if you believe me or not, uh, but I have been quite busy. Um, I'm hopefully going to get seasons and foot drafts. Uh, done as well as uh, obviously foot champions. I have all week to do for, uh, foot drafts and, and seasons. So I'm still in Division 9 this season, so should be easy to sort of get up there, but it'll still be entertaining to obviously uh, see how well I do and probably lose games anyways. Um, but yeah, just in general, uh, I apologise for that. Um, just just been busy doing things. Obviously, I have other things um, to do uh, other than this, and obviously I have work and stuff. So, um, But this weekend anyway, anyways, just to go on about it, um, it was a tough weekend, but you know what? Honestly, I've said it before. I actually felt like I played the best football I could play. Like literally, I felt like I played really well this week, uh, this weekend. Um, I got some good goals, uh, some good results. Um, I didn't finish as high as what I could, um, and what what I think I should. I don't know. I wish I could just hit like the 27, 28 mark at least, or even 29 strength to the team of the week. Uh, but as you can see there, um, right on the screen now, uh, obviously on the 11 wins uh, in, in our first 20 games. So not a good start really. Um, I had an awful start at the first 20 games. I mean, the first like 10 games, I just, I couldn't get going. Um, I think I won like, actually my first three games in a row. Um, but then I just sort of just dropped, just literally dropped like anything. Um, but this, this weekend, to be fair, um, a lot of the goals I did concede were... You won't see a lot of them in this. I think it's in the next part, uh, the, the next video uh, of obviously my weekend league, uh, where a lot of them were literally quite fluky goals. Um, when I say fluky, I'm talking about, uh, it could be something basic, like, I don't know, something that happens in life, but basically they could you know, have a shot and it'll go under De Gea's legs, basically, for example. So, um, but it's it just, it don't make sense. There's some of them that just, they get away of quite a lot, um, but a lot of good goals like this one. Good one, two build up play. Um, completely dominate this guy. Um, you could say maybe that's a lucky goal in some ways. I mean, I just hit it randomly, it's gone right in the bottom corner. I didn't ex expect it to go in, uh, but yeah, you know. So, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I had my odd uh, fair share of um, obviously uh, lucky goals, um, but I don't know how to really sort of explain my lucky goals. Really, I, sometimes I wouldn't call them lucky goals, but. When they have theirs, it's a lot of time. It's just, um, I don't know. For example, they might have a shot and it's come off my Kajoni's back and then just rolls in, like you know what I mean. Or, or De Gea should be practically saving it. You know what I mean? It's a 97 rated goalkeeper. Um, I don't rate the guy, uh, to be honest. In some ways, I'm actually tempted to maybe sell De Gea and get someone else. Um, even probably use uh, uh, Begovic. You know, you see a lot of people use Begovic. Um, even tempted to maybe change leagues instead of using Premier League. Um, I'm not going to lie, I do feel like maybe changing that. Um, I don't really know what to, um, but there are, I don't know, temptation to change. Um, Italian, Spanish, whatever, you know, obviously it's either one of them two um, after this in my opinion. Uh, but I just, I don't know, I was thinking maybe Spanish and uh, maybe just like invest in like, you know, Ronaldo and Messi or something and have them up top. Um, might get a lot of goals in as well, probably, I don't know. Um, and just in general, just invest it in that sort of area maybe. Um, whether it would suit, whether I'll be better playing with uh, teams like that, I, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I'm not a great, great player, you know, but I just do what I can. Um, I get wins uh, that obviously are good enough to at least keep going every weekend and do this uh, f for you guys as well as obviously me. Um, but, yeah, um, so... Uh, in the in this video, to be fair, um, I got a lot of wins. Um, I actually did start off really well. Actually, um, I, I played some really good football. As as I said, uh, I did play really good football. I felt like I defended better. Um, it's probably not showing it on this match, to be fair. Um, I mean, when I look at that goal, that's see what I mean. A 97 rated De Gea. You, you just have to be saving things like that. You really do. Um, that's my opinion. I I just think you should be saving things like that. Um, don't know how I didn't score that, um, but yeah, this guy was quite lucky, um, as you see there. Doesn't score here, but then he scores right here, and yeah, it, it goes like that. You know, there's nothing wrong with him, and I'm I'm being honest with there. There's not, there's not really much wrong with him, but it's how you're doing it. I I don't really understand. Um, even that goal he just scored there, where he put in the bottom corner. I just 
I think De Gea's got to be doing better. You know, I'm not. I've said it so many times. I'm not saying De Gea's got to save everything, but when you when a EA make these cards, you know, to make it 97 rated and the stats are just completely high, why are you making them shit? Basically, like, yeah, you know, it's like that that goal from Son. I'm not expecting De Gea just to save everything. I just think De Gea probably should be doing better. You know, I think the odd time he should be saving it. Yes, I do, because if you're gonna make a guy with incredible stats i'm sorry but they should be uh saving the majority uh, of the shots and i do I'm, I'm being honest it should be majority of the shots you should be saving um, but that's just how i see it because yeah you're going to make a card like that they have to be doing it um but yeah so you know uh, as you see there we won that game um got some vital wins now just to actually say i, I don't know whether you had to have 11 wins this weekend um i did hear that uh ea were actually um, putting that in the game um, instead of getting 18 wins for auto qualification I think it's now 11 but I can't remember if it was meant to be in this update or not I'm not too sure um, but if it was then obviously I've cleared it so that's all good I clear it most of the time anyways um, but again it, it makes it maybe a bit more of an easier job I guess um, to do it so uh, um, and then you know talking about half t half time um, half time uh, sorry about that um, kick off goals honestly I do think they're still in it. Yes, I do. Um, I mean, to be honest, that goal he just scored there, that was actually a kickoff goal. <laughs> um, maybe a couple of touches from me and then he got it back anyways. Uh, um, it, you know, it might not count as a kickoff goal, but there was quite a few of them. Um, I do think there has been an improvement there. I'm not going to lie. Um, you guys might have a different opinion if you're playing it yourself. I don't know. Um, but I do think um, the update has helped just a little bit. I do think that um, <clears throat> the uh, the kickoff goals isn't really there, um, but there's just a little bit. It's, it's hard to explain. Um, it's one of those things. Obviously, we all moan about kickoff goals, um, but it's not probably all time kickoff goals. Like it's probably just in general. Like you know, yes, your defence. Like in my opinion, as, as many um, as well as probably other people's opinion, it probably feels like you know. Obviously, a lot of time, like your defense, just don't feel like they're defending. Like you score a goal, then straight away they they score a goal straight after. It shouldn't really happen. It can happen, probably, um, but yeah, that's just what I guess just happens. But um, it, as as annoying as it can be, um, but yeah. So you know, um, kick off goals. I don't know. Like I said, I, I don't really know. Sort of. I I do think they're there, but yeah, it's just not there. It's just hard to explain how it sort of works. And because obviously, again, with the with the kickoff goals, they score. It's just they've played it well, they've worked it through, and there you go. Your defense is just shit. But when you like, for example, again, I'm not saying oh you have to have a fantastic team to win games, but um, with a with a brilliant team, say like what I got, you know, with Blanc and Koscielny in the back, I think they're decent enough players to say okay, well they should be doing a better job, you know. And that's just my opinion. Maybe other people might have the same opinion. I don't know. Um, but yeah, definitely should be winning games, really. Um, I don't think I play that badly. Um, again, I'm not the best player, no. But yeah, um, should be yeah doing, I guess, a bit better with the defence. But yeah. Um, but you know, talking about the games, we'll talk about the rest of the games. Because um, I'm just blabbing on right now. Um, as I'm going to do, obviously, talking about it. Um, well, that game, as you just see there, was kind of a weird one. Um, as, obviously, I wouldn't one there when any quit after I scored that. Um it was maybe about 10 minutes later he quit. I think I think he had a chance, he missed it. And I think he should have scored it, but he just, yeah, he just quit. I think he thought, fuck this, I can't be asked anymore. Um, but on to the next game. Uh, this game was actually, I do remember, it was quite tough. Um, obviously, I came back in it with De Bruyne. Um, the guy was genuinely good. As you can see, with good skills there. Um, kind of luckish goals like that. I just don't think he should be scoring that. But it's in anyways. Um, I should be scoring that. I mean, if, if he can score his run right a minute ago, I think Omri should be scoring that. Um, good finish there. Again, take nothing away from it. Um, great finish here from Kante as well. Good attack. Um, and, yeah, just this guy was genuinely, like, really good. Um, you can tell by the way he scores. Um, it's all low and hard and whatever. Um, have a good goal here, though, with Salah. Um, as you can see, I'm fighting back. I'm, I'm trying to get back every time, but it just didn't really work. Um, should have probably made it another goal here in 87th minute, but just wasn't to be in that game. As you see, we're very tight to be honest. Um, you have more possession, so um, he was holding the ball way more better. 
And uh, yeah, I guess you know, he kind of deserved it. He was a good player. Um, but yeah, on to the next game anyways. Um, very tough uh, tough team this. Uh, standard goal players. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm tempted to go back to goal players, you know. <laughs> just all of them just goal players. Um, but he gets a lucky goal here. And I say lucky because, again, it's like kickoff goals. You shouldn't be running through someone's defence like that. Um, you could say I'll get a lucky goal there, to be fair. Um, when I say lucky, it's just first time here. I've just thought, fight, there's a minute in this. Um, but we do go 2 1 up though uh, with Aguero. And then just after that, the guy just literally turns it around. You'll see right now, I, I don't know what happened. I really don't. As you see, he scores there. Um, and then he scores uh, again with this, I think. Yeah, oh yeah, it takes a few deflections. And then just, it's just lucky goals. It's just, <laughs> same thing. I wouldn't, say, this is what I'm trying to say. It happens in real life. Don't get me wrong, it does happen. Um, like that as well on the legs, it does happen. But it happens more than not. Um, every time on FIFA and that's what's frustrating um, and then this goal one tackle there two tackle there and then through the legs it that's a very like that's one of the luckiest goals I've probably ever conceded um, and I say that not just because of the through the legs because like I said it happens but I've tackled two times two times with two decent centre backs you got to be honest you know I should be doing better there um, but as you can see there with the stats he deserved the win um, and I'll give him that he, like I said he was a good player I'm not denying that uh, 13 shots on target out of 20. Yeah, pretty decent player. Um, so yeah, he gets the win and there you go. Um, on to the next game though with Ronaldo and Bale up top. And obviously Vidal, uh, who I saw a lot actually this weekend um, in that midfield. Um, yeah, pretty decent side again. Played well. Um, to be fair, that goal I just scored there was actually a kickoff goal. So, um, and that's just being like, that's me scoring it. And I'm still saying it's you know it shouldn't be allowed because it shouldn't be. You know, they've got to sort it out. Um, but yeah, so 1-1, one, one, great goal from Agro, and then we get nearly lucky there, um, should be scoring that, but we don't, um, and then get a bit lucky, I, I, you know what, I'm going to be honest, sh you know, very lucky there to be honest, um, as it does take a few uh, weird sort of deflections, um, and then he has a chance there, which should be going in probably, but then he scores this brilliant header, um, take nothing away from it, you know, I'm going to be honest again, take nothing away from it, great goal. And then he finishes off with this. Just again, I, I don't get me wrong. I've scored goals like that, but simple p roller, and it's into the back of the net. And then he scores a fantastic goal. To be honest with you, uh, with Gareth Bale, and uh, basically it's game over. Um, another chance there, just won't go in. Uh, again, the ball everywhere. But that is that. Um, as you see, dominated the guy, but just couldn't really get it to be my way. So. That is the end of the first 10 games there um, of this part. Um, not too bad. Finish on 17 wins. I can definitely accept that. Um, but yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed anyways. Obviously, leave a like and subscribe. And uh, thank you for understanding if you do uh, about the um, basically less uploads. Um, I'm obviously trying to get videos done. Um, but yeah, so you know, I'll try and do what I can. Hopefully get drafts and seasons back into it. So I uh, hope you guys had a good weekend anyways. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.